Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is Chris from Gentlemen's Gaming, and we are back. And what are we doing? Killing Nazis. Sound good? Yes, sir! Guys, you will not believe how many times that I have played this game with Wolfenstein in New Order and have thought of that very exact scene from Inglorious Bastards where Lieutenant Aldo Rain addresses his men before they go off to France. And I have to say, if you guys ever want to watch a really, really interesting movie, really, I wouldn't say fun because it's about World War II and it's about a lot of death, but an interesting movie about World War II that kind of shows a different perspective about the war, I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend watching Inglorious Bastards. I actually think it's on Netflix too, so if you guys want a movie recommendation, there you go, you just got one. So guys, now that that's over with, Back to the gameplay. We are back in Wolfenstein the New Order. This is part 14 of our playthrough through the game. We have just broken into the London Nautica and we have finally got our hands on the Project Whisper helicopters. We now have an aircraft in one of the most advanced time periods in the alternate universe. So we just captured them and now we're going back to the Rebel base and we're going to put them in our hangar. So this episode has turned out to be pretty, pretty nice if you do agree. I just sounded like Lieutenant Al Doray right there. But, I kind of think, I don't even know if there's such an aircraft like this in the real world um, that actually does hover silently or is um, or is silent to radar. I'm, I'm not sure. God only knows somewhere in the, in the deserts of New Mexico there's probably something like this that's going on. But, to my knowledge, I have no idea. But these things actually do look pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie. Like, for a Nazi weapon, uh... Have you finished complaining? <laughs> for, uh, for a weapon in an alternate time period, I gotta say, that's pretty Officer badass. Dr. He should. How can we get in contact with him? Anya, what do we know? Very little, but I have some ideas. Good. Anya, you take the lead on this. Glaskovich, whatever she needs, you help her find it, yeah? Yeah? William, I found some interesting leads. This parchment describes um, a way to create a type of super concrete. Mm. This is what the Nazis have used to build all these concrete monstrosities around here. Yes. Just Everything, a bit. Even this place. This is the only concrete they used. This is how they created all those those cities so quickly. Now that we know where it comes from... I mean, I understand making the concrete more efficient, but at the same time, I don't understand how that means that this, the buildings were built more quickly. Like, is it like a type of concrete that dries faster? Or like a, like a concrete that is just more impenetrable to weather? Um, again, they don't say. ...members in Poland during the war. I need to compare it with the official German state records on Jewish citizens in the years between 1939 in 1945. Can you see if those records are in the archives room? Fucking hell, and we have access to all those records? Yes, Jesus Christ! Um, it's quite critical. Oh, yes. Jesus. What? Ah, oh, most important part of the mission right there. That'll be all. We can go now. Damn, BJ. Fresh out of the asylum, kicking Nazi ass, and you get a fine piece of ass. <laughs> exactly. You get that fine piece of ass. Oh shit. Damn, that guy is uh so the archives, you know, like How the fuck did you get away from the Nazis, bro? Like <laughs> you're too busy smoking smoking that dank kush. The Devil's Cabbage, or Them Dank Nugs, as you may say. Hmm. It's gotta be a place where I can find, like, a slab of concrete. Or something. There's oh. a patch of mold. In a circular saw to cut a Damn. Now be some power tools here. Fuck. I was literally just about to say, I'm like, damn, I never knew mold give, gave off spores so fucking, like... Full. Like, holy shit, it looked like a gas. Fuck you, Hans. Yeah? I don't trust this bullshit. Oh, hello. What the 
fuck out of here. This is my house. Well, it's technically not my house. It's the, it's the under, it's the undercropping to my house. But sh shut up. That was really weird. Oh, okay. Um, the fuck is all this shit doing down here? It's like a storage room or something. Oh, that's cool. I love the animations that are in this game. Like, just when you're, like, walking around and he's playing with his gun. Like, uh, with the pistol, he recocks it and stuff like that. With the assault rifle, he takes out the mag, checks to see if he has ammo in it. Ooh, upgrade. Ooh. Got the lens refactor. Focus beam. Nice. Oh, fuck straight off. But I just love those little animations, especially, like, with the sniper rifle and stuff like that. He, you know, like, focuses the skill. Ooh, yes. Mmm. Mmm. I feel all, all great types of pants feelings right now. Oh, shit. Alright, let's not and say we did. Get away. Got to... I'm trying to get the fuck out of here. Lol, heard that. Oh. Ah. Lock gun and two smoking barrels. I don't even think that's the name of the movie. Get her done! All I need is a, a glass of moonshine and a fucking cheek full of tobacco and I, I'm here billy it up. With this here, uh, with this appliance. With this piece of American hot, uh, it's actually not American hardware, it's Nazi. Nazi, ar Nazi hardware. Open that door, though. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I guess. Oh, here we go. There's a ladder. Damn, like what the shit is all this? It's like storage rooms everywhere. Like I didn't realize how like how vast this resistance network or like the structure of it actually is. Like holy shit. Oh, oh okay. Here we go. We're back. Swag money. What the damn hell are you doing? Uh, Sorry, doing shit. You're scaring Max. Sorry, Didn't always flip out like that. I feel bad, but at the same time, like, no. I understand no. why they brought him along because, like, Hans so is so. protective over him, but, like, in a situation a like, uh, a backstory, yeah. So he had tried for years to have a child, him and his wife. Yeah, well, he'd make a pretty good father for a Nazi. The child was born he is a club of foot. Oh. Klaus knew, of course, what that meant. He begged the doctors not to report it to the authorities. Then secret police showed up to take the boy away. Klaus and his wife tried to stop them. The wife died from a bullet to the head. Oof. The child, too. Klaus could not protect them. Oh, okay. So he's trying to protect Max like he would have protected his son. That is, God. This friggin' game, like, makes you want to kill yourself. I mean, I kind of understand why, because you're kind of in a really fucked up universe. But at the same time, like, come on, bruh. You gotta keep that optimistic attitude. Ooh. Hmm. I expect that since we're finding one of those toys, that we're gonna have to find another, or like a few. I need to go find his toys. Uh, 
Oh, Jesus. Jesus. In the archives. You got him? Gosh dang Purvis. What do you got there? Dog tags. Wing Commander Purvis Reed from the Royal Air Force. Oh my god, you've held on to those for fucking like almost a decade? Not even a decade, it's been like 18 years. You are cut out for this, you know? Cut out for what? This. Everything. I was 18 years old and suddenly the war was lost. Everything good in the world died. Somehow I was the one supposed to pick up the pieces Keep the resistance going. Take on the whole gosh darn Nazi empire. You think I was ready for that kind of responsibility? Well, I mean, you did pretty fucking well, and it's not like you're leading the resistance. It's kind of Caroline that's pulling all the strings. That guy, he could survive anything so tough. Well, I got him. Not really. He was... Wasn't he, like, in his 60s? He looked like he, he was in his 60s. Like, fuck. He wouldn't know what to do. He could have saved so many. I made the wrong choice. You made a stupid choice! Oh, fuck you. I the boy in charge of a man's work. I should have died on that day, Captain. Well, obviously you became a man. Are you done with your tan temper tantrum? I know one mistake you made. There. Leave me alone now, you hear? Dick. Well, this looks like a good part to end the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to smack that like button in the face and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next one.